So my assignment is to give y'all an ingredient, an element, a special ingredient to make your love walk that much sweeter. Y'all ready for me? My topic today is love is kind. I want to remind you that we have to be so incredibly careful that we do not minimize the importance of kindness. See, kindness is the gentle influence we have on others even when they do wrong to us. What is your capacity to be kind? See, as a football coach, we got players, right? My role is offensive coordinator. So my job is to make sure when I'm calling the plays, I have the right people out there. And I like to run a, a hurry up offense, right? So we got to get on the ball. We got to move quick, right? But there's a certain level of endurance I require my players to have, right? So that's why we put them through conditioning drills. That's why we have them run. So when it comes game time and the fourth quarter hits, we not tired, right? We not wore out, right? Things aren't too heavy for us to deal with, right? So I need them to be in condition to play all four quarters. Think of it like this. We are the players. God is the offensive coordinator, and he needs us to get in condition and increase our capacity to be kind to others. <laughs> Kindness is unconventional, meaning it doesn't look normal, right? Sometimes we back down and our courage gets punched on because we're afraid of what other people think. We're afraid of doing more than what's expected. We have been called to stand out, church. We have been called and set apart. What do others say about you? Are you that person that flies off the handle? Are you that person that when a situation, even if it's small or big, they just, they just act out of character, they just, they just get mad, they just start cussing people out? How do you react? How do people identify you? See, your character is easily identifiable by your actions. Easily identifiable by your actions. See, and we've been talking about a lot of big stuff. I want to bring it down where we at. How you act when that waiter messed up your order? You ordered a medium steak. That drone come out, look like it's still moving. How are you going to act? What is your character? What do your kids say about you? They watching. They're learning. They're downloading what they see from you. If we proceed with a gentle nature, God's work can be done in people's heart. Like I alluded to earlier, we have to be so careful that we're not interrupting God's work. Because our words can interfere with what God's working on in somebody's heart. So now, not only are you outside of your kindness posture, but now you're disrupting your daddy's work. 